Back with sports news, the Nigeria Weightlifting Federation has unveiled plans to engage a foreign technical advisor for its weightlifters ahead of the 2014 Commonwealth Games and the 2016 Olympics. The president of the federation, Mr. Chibu Domuche, says adequate steps are being taken to make the athletes preparing for the Games comfortable as they train under the watchful eyes of coach Emmanuel Oshoma. Well, he's confident that the athletes will do well at the Commonwealth and Olympic Games, but warns against the use of performance-enhancing drugs. What is not do or die. It's supposed to be, it's like, it's like a game. You mustn't always win, but you must win freely and fairly. So we have to do, we want them against taking dope to enhance their performance, because those things give the country a bad image. When an athlete is caught doping, the team is blacklisted, and even the atlas, and it gives a negative image of the country. So we spend time to warn them. We brought in professionals to also educate them on the evils of dope taking. Because before every competition, it is our duty to, to test our athletes and ensure that they are dope free before we embark on the final journey. So that was why a few of them who tested positive, we could not take the chance because normally you should do a repeat test thereafter, but it, take, it was too close to the competition to do a repeat test. So we just decided, well, if they're not clean the first time, let's leave them behind. Because we don't want uh, to get involved in any controversy. We want to win freely and fairly. It's only a sport. It's not do or die.